the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. They basically take the boys, wrestlers, pro wrestlers, and there'd be a segment of the show where they would have a, a, a fight. They would have, I think they were boxing gloves, I believe, like lightweight gloves. And it was like a shoot fight. They just got into a fist fight, a real legitimate fight, not staged, not a show. And um, and it was real as real can be from what I understand. And so I would not have wanted to be part of this. Maybe at the time I would have, but I'll tell you why I wouldn't have. It's a simple thing. Well, <laughs> the guy who won the whole thing was a guy named Bart Gunn. Billy Gunn and Bart Gunn. You guys remember Billy Gunn, of course, from DX. But before that, it was Billy and Bart Gunn. These guys were a tag team. They came up. And they were great, and uh, two big rough and tumble guys. But but Bart Gunn uh, ended up doing his own thing, just as Billy did. Billy, I think, had more success on his own than Bart did. But Bart ended up winning the brawl for all. So in a basic shoot with everybody, he he won. And I believe uh, the late great Doctor Death, Steve Williams, might have been in the finals with him. I don't. I'm not looking at. It. I don't remember. But I know that Steve Williams did not win in that fight. So here's the problem with the brawl for all. I mean. Uh, I don't really know what did it do for Bart Gunn, number one. It really did nothing for him, if you think about it. No knock on the guy. I don't even know Bart Gunn. Didn't know Bart Gunn. But it, it, so there was no positive in the end game of it, except, okay, it helps someone's reputation that they're a tough guy. That's cool, and that's respectful. But from a financial perspective or a career-building perspective or an income perspective, what does it do for you? No knock on any of the men that were in the brawl for all. No knock on WWE. But it, they only did it for a short time because what WWE realized is it killed the mystique of a lot of the guys that were being pushed as tough guys. Not that they weren't tough if they lost in a brawl for all, but it, you know, it could hurt that mystique. And anybody, any man can lose a fight at any time. That's, that's no problem. That happens, you know. Um, so you kill your mystique, number one. Number two, you can get injured, which we saw happen with brawl for all, if I remember correctly. So there's definitely injuries. So that's something that you need to you know, look at. So, but when I was younger in 1998, I probably I was I was like I thought about if I was in WWF, would I want to do this? And at the time, in my mind, I was like, yeah, it'd be cool. And I remember talking to Paul Heyman about it once, and he's like, what are you out of your mind? What are you crazy? What are you, why would you want to do that? What are you nuts? It only hurts. It only could hurt your. You know, you go lose, it, it kills your gimmick. 